we can power level on Nosdormu, so there's hope. <laughs> we're going 4 and 4 if possible. If I find a token, and then we're going ape shit. We can go 4 and 4. Ooh, or I G curve or wait, I can also warrior curve. That's probably better. Okay. I was thinking about power leveling, but um warrior curving is probably better on this hero. Especially since we got a pair. Yeah, that's warrior. I like hitting multiple sixes. <laughs> More than I like gambling my tier four shops. Maybe that's just me though. Best cards to hit are the Reborn Taunt, our mummies. Even though there's no max mummy is still in the game because it's an undead. And more tokens. This guy is good as well, but I'm not going to freeze it, obviously. I also want to try Reno. He seems fun. Just hits and you win. Forehead. Hmm. Okay, we need to be hitting though. Need to add a pair here or here and then I'm happy. Then I just need to find the triples. Honestly, what I think people are sleeping on is the attack buff comp. I see most people play with sisters or with knights. But I think if you just go full on attack buff, it's giga strong. Uh, I played it once and I had a really scuffed board and was still able to scam so many fights. But you just gotta play it well. You gotta play with hand. I've, uh, or uh, the, the, the forge up that gives, I don't know what it's called. I call it hand. The one that summons a reborn on death rattle. Uh, it's so strong if you also play around blaster. I should have repositioned. I didn't check my opponents. I could have dealt one more damage here. It's my bad. Yeah, the dragon is really good on fi uh, yeah, five. No. Yes. Main issue is that I could buy it already, but I'll be taking a lot more damage. Is that worth it? This is not that bad with double Naga, actually. Because if I buy this now, I don't have to freeze and I can roll for the other triple. But let's not greed. I don't think... Um... Like, again, I'm still playing those Dormu. It's not like I have a comeback mechanic. How do I take this triple, though? I'd have to double sell. I can sell these. Even though this would be kind of strong with all the spells being played and stuff. Seen a lot of Nozolfs as well, why is that? Just for Summoner? I do have two more refreshes in the shop, so it's possible I find the other triple or another mummy. Even though I don't want mummy anymore, actually. Never lucky. Yeah, this is always a 4 free. We could go into Naga. Well, well, Naga obviously doesn't win the game, but if I go into Atissa and I hit the um, the gold gun Greta for my second triple. Yeah, we always triple into 6s. I'm a 6 drop gamer. West withdrawal symptoms. I don't think you're alone. What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? What if I do it now? I double sell buy, and I don't have to freeze anymore. And then next, year I can level. I can I can buy another card next turn if I do that. I think it's the play. It might seem strange, but I think I double sell buy because the next turn I can level, play five. I can roll for free, double coin, buy another card. And I have more also finding second triple as well. Uh, I'm gonna take 15. Am I okay with that? At this point, I think I'm almost always taking 15 here anyway. They tripled and they're playing Varden. So... Sure. More also of hitting this again. What it's like without quest. It plays completely differently, yeah. I feel like it fits my style a little bit more because I'm a greedy player. I like power leveling a lot. 
and I'm also very used to playing heroes like Barov and a Warrior Curve and getting triples and power leveling. Like, I don't know. It, it's what I've played the most. It's also the meta that I grinded uh, like two years ago, or one year ago when I got rank 4 EU. That was a similar meta to this. It's just annoying that it's so broken. What's a 2 8? It gives you a 2 1 on Battlecry that gives plus 5 attack to a dragon. Yeah. Ooh! Wait a second, those are good hits. Alright, let's see what's in the box. Do I roll first? Yes. Woo hoo hoo! Rewarded, baby! Summoner or at the side? It's always Summoner, fuck it. I know I have Nagas on the board, but fuck it. Second Summoner. Oh, we finally hit. Oh my god, man. It took me so many games of low rolling, but we hit. We got double Summoner on turn 7. We might level again. No, actually... I need Reborn right now. I need to 4 drop. Um, maybe Anubarak. I don't need to level, right? I don't need to triple this. I don't need Sister either. Sister becomes good if I have a setup for it. We're almost all. We're also almost at 8,000 followers on Twitch. That's hype. It's a corner cleave. I mean, I think we're still losing. I'm pretty sure we're still losing because my knights are very tiny. But I kill a mama bear. And that's it. We're staying above damage cap though. I'm happy that I was able to save so much health. Yeah, Soul Splitter is uh, one of the best cards we can hit at the moment. I'll take a Knight, I guess. At least I have a lot of rolls. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a lot of uh, interesting plays here. The double cell. <laughs> what is this board? <laughs> it's art. And that's what it is. Mm. I'm still staying. There's no reason to level again, right? I need to reborners. For turn 8, do I win fights with this now? I think so, right? This is an 8-5, then a 9-6, then a 10-7, then an 11-8. Then a 12. Yeah, wait, and then more summons? Okay, dude. This should be good enough. It'll take Soul Splitter out. I don't think so. Soul Splitter is such a key component to uh, Undead. I think if they take it out, there's a lot of synergies that get like removed. And the tribe is going to get pretty dull. It's just going to hit this card or not. Like, I don't know. Uh, I think they're going to keep it. I think they're going to nerf all the cards around it, though. Again, these cards are too strong. Um, Sister, too strong. Anubarak. Doesn't seem too strong yet, but I think it's too strong if it's not going to be nerfed. Like if the other power level comes down. Oh, they also have assist. Oh, no! They have a summoner with Reborn. And, yeah. So they have the 4 drop already. Also got the summoner. Let's see how big their knights are, though. They also got Teotar with a lot- Dude, they're- They're insane. How are they stronger than me? <sighs> Fuck. I'll be taking uh, some damage here. So I'm below damage cap now, I gotta be careful. That's what I mean, even if I high roll, people are gonna high roll harder in this lobby. I got Ghost, okay. At least we got that going for us. I don't think I still level, I don't really care, right? No, Taunts? I don't care either. Bro, what is happening? Where are the cards? <laughs> um, 
I don't know what's going on. But I'm not um not finding the four drop or the five drops. I got two sixes here. Both of them also kind of ass. We could have actually got Naga pretty well, huh? We got like double Atissa. Or like at this yeah, double Atissa. Our Gozoa, Greta Gold Gun. Actually would have been scaling like crazy. But yeah. Yeah, they need support guard. Just playing knights isn't good enough. Greta ball. I don't think I freeze for it. I can just score for it next turn, maybe. I could pivot. There's no pirates. Otherwise, we could have gone APM. Do I level next turn? Again, there's no sixes I want, man. I want the four drops. He's not weak, dude. Look at this board. It's a new hero. Pretty strong board. Took 15 from Fish Guy. What? How does this take 15 from Fish Guy last turn? This would beat me last turn, I think. Okay, maybe not. But still. God damn. Zephyr is dead. The fish guy as well. He's murdering the lobby. Panda boy. No triple. So we got ball, but I'm not taking that. It's plus 20 plus 20 though. Actually, that's so much stats. Never mind, I made up my mind. Sure. Ah, the devil. Dude, these turns are so wild. I'm selling so much. Cycling. Dude, I hit nothing again. Uh, Stomper. Queen. And then. Re Stomper. I should probably put this further back. Because if they get reborn, maybe it doesn't. I mean, it always gets value, right? This die, this die. They're tiny, they just have one big dragon. What happened here? Oh, I guess they're- What the hell did I cleave? What? Yo, that was nasty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's actually a sick comb. They're playing with a lot of ghouls. Um, And that's it. They literally only have ghouls. What a scammy board. Alright, now we have to level, right? I could look for another one, which is probably good, but yeah, let's level. <laughs> level inside sister. This makes me look like a moron. Um, I got two. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. Dude, I'm still so scared. Like, Hyrule games like these are still losable. Even if I get double summoner, I still am likely to die to someone that's stronger than me. Naga doesn't have cleave. Naga is good with cleave, though. Uh, if you just find, like, um... I mean, you can win for your cleave. Divine Shoulder Cleave. You can attack buff it. There's also Critter Wrangler. But usually when you play Naga, you can easily fit in the Hydra. Whoa! Am I dead? the fuck? No! And I reborn! Oh, I'm dead. This meta is fucking insane. Okay, no, I survived this, but it's close. Wow. This is literally what I talked about, right? I said that even if I had double summoner on, what was that, turn 7? I had all the nuts. The Hyrule is so crazy right now. Like, I've had a lot of games where I still get top 8 with crazy boards. 
Um, this was the strong Nazoth that played dragons and killed two people. They're losing now, they have zero triples. I don't know what to expect from this, it's mixed units. But how, how are they that strong? They have like, Thawne scaling, they have Teotar. I guess they just have Makar, Reborn, Coins, and with all of that Ecom they could spike. It's very strange. And then Baron as well, goddamn. Not a knight. I mean, is that even worth? Is it good? Yoing the reborn. I mean, it's stronger than all the shit on my board. I'll take it. Nah. I need another soul splitter. That's the best hit, I think. Soul splitters, right? It's not a reborn to buff my board, but no. Soul splitter or busts. Aha! We'll get it next turn. I, I still don't know what to expect here. I'm gonna play around Khalif though. They're playing Sin a really big Cinderish Strider. They're also Menash. That should be good. Their Bone Swine is also dude, how are people this big? This big without even playing um and dead. Doing 12. And no triples, right? Did they evolve like with the 4 drop or with the 3 drop into Teotar or steal it? When Mer Merzon is removed from the game currently. I don't know. We'll never know. We don't kill them. All these fights are still relatively close. So I'm scared that a high roller like Reno is gonna kill me. But we do have um, this guy now. Oh, that's a really good triple. Let's go. I'll taunt this to protect my board. Queen just has so little value at the moment. And that's seven. They had the early... Avenge dude. Wait, they might have hero power that. Maybe that was a hero power target. Then I win, right? If they hero power the early Avenge guy, um, for Econ, I mean, they could still beat me, but that means that at least they won't scale as explosively. My knights are not huge, though. Mm, this is not even guaranteed to reborn them. <laughs> I have too many other undads on the board. The sister probably isn't worth keeping either. It's, it's just buffing the health a little. Yeah, let's see if I can beat Reno. If you beat Reno, we win the lobby, I think. Uh, he is an attack scaler. Okay, attack scaler and just found Death Whisperer. He didn't reborn this either, that's really good. I mean, he reborn ha Hand, which is probably stronger. Oh, we should win this, because we value trade still. Um, the only person I'm now scared of is this them, because they got more triples and they got crazy amount of money still coming in every single turn. And they were already bigger than me. Um, yeah, we'll see. Hey, Bomber Day, what's up? Actually close, but I do value trade. Wow, my knight skilled just enough to beat him. Holy, yeah, this is a, a massive high roll lobby. That's insane. Someone died to ghosts? Who was it? Panda. <laughs> so you're up against the menagerie. Okay, let's be smart about this. They're definitely gonna play a Cinder Strider, right? Um. <laughs> More shield is good. We're all in because it's always final fights. I want more taunt to protect these from um, getting sniped with Cinder Ray, so I might taunt some shit here. Let's see what you give me. Maybe another Divine Shield. Coin is good. More taunt. Let's take the Econ. Um, I think I'll take another taunt. Or I could just have this. This is Reborn though. They didn't have a Divine Shield Taunt yet. They had a Mummy, but there's no module for him. So I don't need to play Bumper. 
Ich kann nicht das eben. Und das. I think this is as strong as I can be with the most potential. I'm still gonna kinda play around Cleave, I guess. If both of these are shield. Yeah, I'll do this. No, I will not tell my big dude so that way his macaw. Holy f Bro, what is happening? It's turn four. What? Huh? Bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no way. That's wild. See, I can hire as much as I want. I'm not gonna get first places. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, what a, wait, I actually see Menagerie window. It's the first time I don't see them that comp win today. So I, I give it to them. Respect. Huge respect.